Okay, I just want to show a pretty convenient way that you can recognize the angle of a shot without using any numbers. You just visualize it. You can use fractional aiming and this quick little visualization tool and get used to using the fractional aim shots if you don't like using the poology numbers. And uh, the way you do that Set a straight-in shot up like that. Let's make sure my camera angle is about right. So let's say that ball there, make it look straight for the camera. But So, this ball straight in. I've got about a hand distance between the cue ball and the object ball. One full hand, it's actually about eight or nine inches. The basic quarter aim points that are used in poology and in fractional aiming are separated by about 15 degrees. So that's where people have a hard time recognizing the angle because you can't see the degrees of the angle on the table. I'm going to show you how you can. From this distance, about a hand distance out, a good basketball player hand, eight or nine inches, 15 degrees is one ball distance laterally across the cloth, like that. So this one's straight in, right there. 15 degree swing over to this ball is a three quarter ball shot. It's one basic aim point difference from straight in. Happens to be a triangle, the exact math is 8.3 inches this way and two and a quarter inches that way. And it gives us a 15 degree angle between these two shots between this shot and that shot going to the ball on the side. If I go another 15 degrees, the ball is still another two and a quarter inches out, creating this nice little arc. That's another quarter aim. From there it's a half ball. One more is a quarter ball. And the same thing goes going to this side. That would be a three quarter. That would be a half. And that would be a quarter ball shot. So all of these balls are hand distance away, and each one of these shots is separated by a 15 degree interval. Basic quarter aim points that are in the Poology book. Does, now this mean you have to put the balls out here like this every time you want to estimate an angle? No, but if you can just remember that at about a hand distance out, eight, or not, eight to nine inches, a 15 degree swing is only one ball's distance across the cloth. Now if this, if I scooted everything back from double the distance, now the 15 degree intervals are separated by two ball's distances and it looks like this. Now each one of these shots is separated by 15 degrees. So this one will be straight in, I've kind of moved the line, but to make it straight in. This one is straight in, just like that. 15 degree swing to this ball is a three quarter ball shot. Over to this ball is a half ball shot. Over here is a quarter ball shot. Same thing going this way. Three quarter, one half, one quarter. And that's my basic aim points from the straight in all the way out to the quarter ball aim. The, the 15 degree swings from a hand distance out, from this ball to that ball, I could set the balls out here. From about a hand distance away, the 15 degree swing is only separated by the width of a ball. So this is straight in. Let me get it right there lined up, right there. There's straight in, 15 degree swing over, puts me right on that ball. So. These 15 degree lines come out like this, they get wider as you come away from the ball. You just have to realize that when you have a ball that's, that's out, away from the table, like that, all you have to do is get over here and say, well, this is the straight in shot. How many 15 degree intervals away is that? How many basic aim points away from straight in am I going to go? So I go from here, and I know that about right there, and one ball distance over, gives me a three-quarter ball line. 
another 15 degrees over gives me a half line and I'm a little bit outside of the half ball line. If I went another one, I'd be at a quarter. Well, I'm in between the half and the quarter, so from here, it's a 3 8 aim. That's what's in between the half and the quarter. If this ball were, were lying down here somewhere, and I wanted to shoot it into the quarter, corner pocket, and I've got the cue ball sitting there, I'll do the same thing. I'd get over here, and again, that is straight in. I'm, I'm not lining it straight into here. I'm lining it straight from this side of the pocket over here on this facing because the ball's going to want to push that way because of the collision induced throw. So I'm lining the ball up right in there to the left side of the pocket. And a 15 degree swing, it's easy to estimate how far a 15 degree swing is now that I know at about this distance, 15 degrees is only one ball distance over. I'm looking at the width of a ball, so I can go from here, right there. That's going to be a three-quarter ball shot. Another 15 degrees would be about here, and it's right here. I'm right on a half ball shot. So I just estimated this angle to be about 30 degrees. It's actually about 25 to 28 degrees, which works because I'm going from center to center. Once I go out here and aim at the aim point, I'm creating a 30 degree shot. And the poolology numbers match this. Based on the position value of this ball and the alignment value, that's a dead half ball shot. So it's, it's pretty interesting. And the thing is, the cue ball, had the cue ball been sitting here, say right there. I would do the same thing. I'd come over here and say, well, 15 degrees, another 15 degrees, another 15 degrees. I'm not paying attention to this. I'm paying attention to the fact that right in this area, 15 degree swing is only a ball distance. So that's my little triangles. I'm stacking these triangles together. There's one, there's two, I'm out here. So that's it. From straight in to a three quarter to a half. If I went one more, the quarter would be over here. That's just actually about right there. So the quarter ball shot is gonna be out here somewhere there's the half ball shot. This ball is right in between, so it's a 3 8. I would aim at the 3 8. Just like that. So that's just to show how you can estimate the angles based on the little triangle that's created right here. That's 8.3 inches, that's two and a quarter inches, and then back. So this is a 15 degree separation between these two balls. If the distance is doubled and, and the ball's way back here, then naturally the, the separation is gonna be doubled also. You can see, it's right there. Now I'm double the distance. But my line is still straight. If I were even further back, it would be doubled again. But it's easier just to think of about a hand distance out, two and a quarter inches over, or a ball's width. You're just estimating the angle anyway. The more you do it, the better you get at it. Or you can just use the numbers that are in the poolology book. But if you're not slick with that and you don't like the number system, you can work with fractions this way. It's much more accurate than using the traditional five line system where you're estimating an angle just based on what it looks like. At least here, you've got a better idea of what it looks like because you can look at this ball and imagine here one ball distance over and then another ball distance over and you can get a really good idea. I keep throwing a ball right out on a half ball shot every time I do that, but that's how it's done. So maybe that would help some people.